Hi everyone. Still May 10, 2019. We are moving back to California now. Oroville Dam update as well as Paradise Campfire update. What's happening six months later? Uh, yeah. Well, what it will do for many of you who have never encountered something so jarring, something this kind of disaster, um, it will help you understand that it's very difficult to recover. There's so much that takes place within the individual when they lose their home and they don't have the means to just, well, pick up uh, and rebuild and do all of that stuff, but on the Oroville Dam. All right, so these are hourly readings of how much water is in that Oroville Lake, and it's 88 point, no, it's 888, sorry, 0.46. And in trying to find information about the Oroville Dam, um, I've come across videos that I'm kind of reluctant to play because I, I certainly don't want anybody to, um, you know, freak out, uh, get scared. But I do want people to pay very close attention to what's happening. So those of you who live in the area where you will be affected if that dam, uh, well, doesn't work out quite as planned, you know, how a dam should work, then you need to be really prepared and, yeah, paying attention. So this is a man who lives in the area. Troy Robertson here. You know, it's uh, really starting to cloud up pretty good out here. I don't know what kind of storm we have coming in, but I'm just going to put out a warning to all those in Oroville, below the Oroville Dam, to keep your eye out and keep your ears open. It's a good possibility that the state of California might be dropping a bomb on us by breaking the Oroville Dam. So keep your eyes and ears open. We're already at 8,900 feet. So, uh, excuse me, sorry, 8,898 8, feet. Something like that. So, 888 feet. Be prepared. This from right here, kid, bring it over. And if it does, a lot of people are going to be suffering. But pray. Make your prayers and stuff and ask God to protect us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name always. Alright. Okay. Um, this is another woman who lives in the area, but she got affected when the Oroville Dam, uh, what was that back, was that back in 2017? Yes, okay, well, I will link below also to everything, so if you want to listen to the full video of those who are speaking, just click the link below. But what does this say? Oroville Dam is too high for us too high for us. And she talks about her experience uh, in 2017. You know, life was just going, going along swell, just living it. And suddenly, disaster hits. So this is what she is saying. Yeah. In 2017, I was one of the people that was running away from the dam. Yep, that was me. Yeah, one one second I'm I'm doing good, you know, just living life here on the homestead, and then all of a sudden there's a there's an entry um, on Janet Goodson's uh, she was vice mayor at the time uh, Facebook, and she says, "Get up to higher land, get up, at higher elevation, go go," and uh, well, that's what I did and uh, scared the living crap out of us. Absolutely scared. 
Um, but we managed to get up to Table Mountain above the dam and uh, kind of waited out there for about an hour and see what was going to happen. So we were not caught in the masses, but still literally scared us half to death. Um, which kind of comes to my, my next point. Um, we've been wanting to live in that truck trailer. Well, we, uh, we started thinking about that after the dam, about how we wanted to be mobile and uh, leave if we had to. Well, <laughs> we love it here. We love Oroville. We love the, we love the people here. We love, you know, we love it all. We love it. But um, after the campfire uh, and after the, the Oroville Dam, well, I, I don't think they have our best interests at heart. You know, I think they wait until the last minute. I think they, their emergency response thing is absolutely um, not in the public's best interest. I mean, chaos. I mean, whew. <laughs> yeah, chaos. Absolute chaos. And, like, right now, um, nobody's talking about what's going on at the dam, you know. I mean, the DWR wants to sit there and, <laughs> well, say say whatever will placate whatever, I guess. But they're not letting water out of the spillway and haven't been for a while. And they're really pushing the water level uh, past the point of my comfort, you know. Like, um, I really think that they might actually go over the spillway. And uh, this is the last time for me um, to to really feel like Butte County doesn't have my best interest or my my neighbor's best interest and, and my dog's best interest, any of our best interests at heart when it when it comes to this. And I mean, I don't, I'm not, I'm not an engineer. I I don't do a lot of uh, research on our infrastructure <clears throat> but i am a citizen that lives in front of this dam and uh i guess now that, that's why i really wanted to start this blog off with why we decided to go mobile and the big okay so you can click on the link below and listen to what she has to say People don't want to live anywhere but where they are used to, where they are, you know, uh, familiar. Um, and it's making it very difficult for a lot of people who have met these disasters. No, our government, local, state, federal, do not have our best interests at heart. There's a lot of people that, having done a little bit of research, I'm seeing more and more people posting videos in Orville, and they're saying, what is going on here? Now, I do want to bring your attention to this that just occurred, and I think that they may be releasing more water within, like, the last... Well, I came across a video that was a live stream six hours ago, and they were talking about how they were not releasing any water from the spillway. Um, and it does look like they've begun to release a little bit more water. See, it's coming through, and they're banking it off uh, to the left. So... All right, maybe it was just getting a little bit too high and they wanted to bring it down a little. We'll see, because it's still inching up. Now, uh, there's going to be a new uh, data posted in 20 minutes, which will be 6 o'clock your time, 9 p.m. my time, and I'll check it out to see if uh, it continues to inch its way 
well, in a direction that you don't want it to go. Um, this woman has some questions. I'm going to play this video. Any of you in this area, if you have answers, uh, please go to her video and leave the answers in the comment section. Hi guys, my name's Bianca and I'm reporting live from the Orville Dam today. And I've come up with some questions that I think are important and I would like the answer to. So number one, um, I wanna say first that I'm very concerned about the lake levels being 888 feet. Um, and also, where's the room for the snow melt? Um, so first question, what does a spillway look like at different outflows? Because I read the forensic report and it looks like to me that um, the power plant can sometimes be mixed in with spillway outflow and I'm always used to, I, I'm used to hearing the spillway going and actually I don't have piezometers at my home I live very close to here but I do have windows and I'm used to the spillway keeping me up at night so what is going on okay and when it peaked to at 25,000 cubic feet a second on April 7th was that including the Hyatt power plant um, number two, second question, what is the depth of the deepest anchor? According to the forensic report, it looks like the bad rock goes down to 45 feet. Um, just would love to know that answer. Number three, um, is it, um, is it safe to swim in the lake after the campfire? All of that paradise runoff, which is very close to here, goes into the lake. Um, has this any chemicals been tested here? I would like the answer to that. Um, I love this lake. I swim in it a lot. Um, it's just a sad sight, and I'm afraid. And I don't know why even on Monday, why was there white water coming out of the spillway gates? Are those manually being held against the pressure? I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Are those manually being held um, against the pressure of the water being so high? I think we deserve those answers. There's children in this town. There's a lot of people that I care for. Um, let's take a look here at some of the strange areas that we're keeping an eye on, like strange mounds of dirt where they were blasting. Um, where is it from this angle? Let's see. I'm gonna... All right, she turns the camera around to show you the mounds of dirt. Okay. Hopefully I got some of that. Okay. Well, I'd just like to tell everyone that I love here in Orville um, to be safe and um, be prepared because I think this very well could go over the emergency spillway. They're working on the, you know, they're I, I just a big concern right now. Thank you. Bye-bye. You know, it's amazing that all of you are having to live with not knowing whether or not you're going to be flooded out. This is outrageous and it's unnecessary. So why aren't people getting the answers to their very legitimate questions about the Oroville Dam? And I've heard other people say that the Department of Water Resources is simply just placating placating the residents. That is not okay. So, um, yeah, I could imagine that there's an awful lot of you in Oroville kind of like, are you living on pins and needles? Like what, what is going to happen? And what about that snow melt? You know, I, I did a, uh, a brief, um, just very brief search on the snow melt. Well, yeah, you're looking at an awful lot of snow melt coming down and 
I will link below to all of these sites. This is Trumpet News, who is, well, go to his channel, and it does seem that he is keeping you up to date with what's taking place. Let's just listen to a few minutes here. And these, this was either the 9th or the 10th of uh, May. So it was either yesterday or today, all of these videos posted. Mark, Mark M, T, T, Gus. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have a tweet here. We want to look, want to look at. This is North. This is NWS Sacramento, which stands for the National Weather Service of Sacramento. All signs are still pointing, pointing toward an active weather pattern with systems moving through the region starting next week. If this is true, why have they not opened up this spillway yet? Ask yourself this simple question. The Climate Prediction Center keeps the area in above normal chances for precipitation from May 14th to the 22nd. Going out about seven days, starting at the 14th, weather.com shows rain for two to three days straight. They're talking about the 14th through the 22nd, above normal precipitation. Okay, we have another view of the charts here of what's to come and if you look here Oroville is down over here let me see if I can put my cursor on here so you can see this oops sorry about that okay so I will link below and you can watch this video uh, you're supposed to be getting quite a lot of rain next week, then into the following week, snow melt on top of that. And he talks about how, why are they not releasing water in the spillway to uh, decrease the amount of water behind the dam? All right. Um, and he does show, it might not have been this video, but he shows a picture of the live cam at the, at the, at the dam. And it seemed to me as if more water was being released. Now this is a live cam, so, and he posted that video um, and another video, I believe, today, yes, 510 today, so I'm hoping that they're releasing more water, uh, which would be a good thing, right? Okay. All right, I will link below to everything. Everybody, please stay safe. Just be prepared for, you know, anything anything. Um, we are living a time when we are being, oh well, <laughs> we're the enemy of government and they are destroying this country, Americans. I've said it before. I will continue to say it. I don't care about all of the people who just are ignorant and refuse to do anything to get up to speed on what is taking place in this country. Um, I can't be bothered with them anymore. They're children, you know, they just want to laugh at you and insult you. Well, it looks like less water is being released now. All right, guys. Wow, a lot is taking place, that's for sure.